Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, today I just wanted to do a little video of my Rubicon. A lot of people have been asking me uh, what mods I have done to it. And uh, name all the mods, want to see an overview of it. So I want to do that for those guys today. Um, if you have any questions, uh, comments on any of the mods that I've done to it, um, I'll try to do my best uh, to answer them if you just guys want to comment uh, down below too. So uh, let's go take a look. Let's get to this one. Let's see here. Let's fire this thing up. I got the Honda's pack pretty tight in here right now. That's for sure. Having four Hondas in here. I ain't started this thing in man, a couple weeks week and a half all right oh shut off Ooh, fired right up man that's dirty The uh, machine here is my 2017 Honda Rubicon. Um, I've done a lot to it, so it's kind of hard on where to start. Uh, first thing that I did in its final form uh, that we'll start off with is the uh, custom snorkel job and my radiator relocate that I had a buddy who lives near me make. Um, Got that done, it's been really awesome, seal tight. Uh, what you can't see is that on this machine, uh, in one of my how-to videos, you'll see that I converted to a um, Rancher IRS DCT air box. It's a solid box right there. There's no secondary opening, no extra boot, nothing like that to worry about. Uh, hidden nicely inside the frame and uh, protected by even the brake caliper, so. That's pretty good. Uh, while we're back here, um, my buddy Justin Hoffpower uh, in Louisiana made these custom rear arched arms. Uh, if you guys want to get with him um, and you do have a Rubicon um, and you'd like a set of these, just let me know. Comment down below and uh, I'll try to get you in touch with him um, on the spelling and everything like that. It relocates the shock mount in front of your factory mount since the way that it mounts the shock um, in the back of uh, my rubicon i have the all balls eight ball axles i've had these for a couple months now um, and no issues um, i think they're a better axle than stock although the stocks did last me a long time so um, not harping on the stocks at all uh, what I did notice over the stocks is the outer cup right here has a lot more angle um, ability than the stock. It definitely uh, moved more freely with more angle. So I like that. Uh, they're not bigger really than the stocks. I kind of watched their videos where they said they were bigger uh, than factory, but putting them beside each other, I didn't really notice a size cup increase or anything like that. So uh, the air box the axles the custom rear arched arms um, This right here is a voodoo uh, Double soft shackle recovery rope it shackles right here, and it's also got a soft shackle on the back um, So you don't need like the clevis really anymore. You can just hook up to wherever um, Just by undoing this and putting it on uh, the shackle is a just a powder coated uh, shackle from factor 55 um, that's actually a Crosby shackles the maker of it, but factor 55 sells that uh, Let me see The motor has a 53% uh, reduction boss gear reduction 
in it on these 31 outlaw threes uh the wheels are 16 by 7 msa bead locks uh, the wheel and tire setup weighs about 70 pounds um, as it sits right now um, it is a rubicon i switched to a rancher pod um, initially um, i was considering putting a um, mtx like a thunder bar that i've seen uh, cj put on his rancher um, and i like the look of it also with having the radiator relocate and the uh snorkel and then the sound bar having a headlight pod on this thing was useless and i just felt like it was on there for no reason um just kind of seemed useless to me um on the front here um most thing most people notice is the uh, haze fab lights um i got the haze fab lights um and a 10 inch light bar that's in the middle uh, for that really the haze fabs do really good but i notice i don't have like as strong of a middle light um the, the light bar still complements those uh so i like having that too uh the badlands 3500 winch um, i've had it on the machine i think since march of this year and uh i've been having intermittent issues with it where it won't work or when it does work it moves really slow um <clears throat> but it has an are uh, synthetic rope on it and uh, a factor 55 hoss fair lead right here uh, factor 55 xtv ultra hook uh, with a factor 55 rope guard protects the rope uh, from the uv and from something hitting it um really nice piece um i already talked about the wheels and tires uh, I have front um, high lifter outlaw three arched arms and Cobra HD axles front and rear uh, the machine at its very lowest point um, has 15 inches of ground clearance and whenever you look at it it is now completely flat um, underneath the arms don't protrude down they're really out of the way and uh follow the rear arms quite nicely underneath there <clears throat> and uh only been on i think two rides with the cobra so far um but man the cups are huge um very nice they do have a ton of angle i have a high lifter bracket lift uh up there on the front and uh pretty much all of my electrical components have been greased <clears throat> um let me see what else what am i missing the snorkel kit oh uh another thing that we run let me put this on my head real quick i feel like this video is going to be too long <laughs> tell you guys that all right another thing that i have done a couple things and i have videos on it but i should really feel like maybe there's certain things that just need to be mentioned over and over again people miss them uh, if you're a new subscriber to my video i want to show you something and this has been a big rubicon problem foreman problem for a long time <clears throat> but i'm here to tell you that mine works flawlessly uh dry box right here and it's incredibly dirty but um, on the dry box, all of my relays are in there, silicone together. The box is clamped and waterproof. There's no, let me turn the camera so I can see it too. There's no uh, flashing full wheel drive light. Oh yeah, this video is way too long. I start it, I'll go back here. I engage four wheel drive. Probably just have to put it in first gear and what do you know it's in four wheel drive no flashing lights uh ever since i dried the relays on this and then i put them in the box um i've had zero four wheel drive issues um i know that the manual actuators are coming for some of you guys and uh i'm even looking forward to one of those myself um only because of the simplicity of it that it's no longer electrical even though mine is working good right now um, i'd like to have one uh, the other thing is 
and this is small. All right, go out of two-wheel drive. Yep, see, it's in two-wheel drive. Turn this off. Um, the other thing that I think is really cool about the manual is with these electronic systems, whenever you actuate four-wheel drive, um, it'll flash until it locks in. And uh, I would like to see a quicker engagement on a cable actuated uh, pull type um, actuator. So that way, um, whenever I want to use diff lock, it's locked. I don't have to back up, turn the steering wheel, play with it, trying to make sure that it's locked on the screen. I pull the cable <clears throat> and I know that it's locked. Um, in the Rancher airbox, I'm not going to pull it apart, uh, but I have an Outsiders Mud Crew um, airbox uh, lid gasket. Uh, you can find that on outsidersmudcrew.com. And then one of my other famous mods that's been getting really popular um, is the crankcase mod. You just want to put some uh, half inch hose, I believe it's half inch hose, uh, from the air box to the crankcase. And that loop puts air higher than the air box so that you don't get milky oil. Um, even if you submerge your air box and you get water on top of the piston you're going to have your oil protected um, so that you can ride for the rest of the day uh, so that's pretty big um, od grips the the rogue lock-on grips uh, one of the best mods that i've ever had on this uh, just super comfortable uh, makes your hands feel so nice nothing rough that tears up your hand at the end of the day and uh an xmr uh, mud strap this is straight from a can-am just an accessory you can get. I think it might come on some of the 1000s, um, but it's awesome. And uh, another little uh, small thing that I have is this throttle extender. And I just noticed that with with me, whenever I was riding, that I really had to stretch my thumb kind of riding all day. Some people might not be a big thing, uh, but there's definitely more comfort in the fact that I have the extender and you really can hold your hand farther out or just you know move your hand and you still have good contact with it um other than that that's about it uh all my axles are obviously replaced none of them are stock anymore i've had to replace my rear u-joint one time batteries original and uh another thing that i carry that's not on here is a pelican 1170 dry box on a rubicon and probably a foreman too but i'd have to check um, it fits right in this spot perfectly and uh, you can carry tools or your phone anything that you need to keep dry rags anything like that and uh, It works perfect. 